This video will demonstrate the assembly procedure for Wakefield VETS compression pack heatsink and clamp systems. These systems provide a customer with a complete system solution for proper insulation and heat dissipation for high power compression pack semiconductors. These high quality mounting clamp assemblies are the industry standard for mounting, compressing, and clamping silicon controlled rectifiers and other high power disc package devices. Devices of these styles are most commonly found in power distribution equipment, industrial controls, transportation systems, and power supply and conversion systems. When received, the top edges of the force indicator should be in line with the bottom edge of the spring leaf as shown here. This is the zero position. If this is not the case, move it to zero with your hands or a pair of pliers. If you are using only one heatsink, the roll pin will need to be adjusted to fit into the blind hole of the SCR. Check the depth of the blind hole and then allow a clearance of at least 0.65 millimeters. Care will be needed to ensure that the upper retaining washer is held against the top leaf spring. If using two heat sinks on both sides of the component, place the heat sink on a flat surface and put the leaf spring assembly between the fins on center with the roll pin into the hole. With a hammer, drive the pin into the hole and through the heat sink so that the pin comes through the other side and protrudes 1.3 millimeters in. Apply a non-silicone based thermal compound to the spot face of the heat sink without the spring leaf assembly and roll pin. There are many methods for applying the proper thickness of grease with full coverage and without excessive squeeze out. This should be done by trial and error, removing the SCR and checking the amount of coverage. Apply the thermal compound to the spot face of the heat sink with the spring leaf assembly and place the SCR in position on the spot face, centering the SCR on the roll pin. At this time, fit the crossbar studs between the two innermost fins and through the holes of the other heat sink without the spring leaf assembly. Slowly drop the crossbar studs through the holes in the heat sink with the SCR and spring leaf assembly, making sure that the SCR fits over the spot face on the upper heat sink. At this point, flip the assembly upside down, supporting the crossbar against the inner surface of the heat sink. Drop the washers over the threaded ends of the studs and then apply the nuts on the threads and screw until finger tight. Finally, tighten the nuts alternately one quarter turn each until you have reached the required force recommended for the SCR. This occurs when the edge of the marked step on the force indicator matches the bottom edge of the spring leaf as shown below. Wakefield VET has an extensive selection of heat sink and clamp options for many different applications. For more information on these products or for a hard copy of this installation guide, please visit www.wakefield-vet.com.